What's up everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to defeat the fire giant. I have just figured out another method that you can use. If you haven't watched my previous video, I'll link it in the description and I'll put it in the card above. So if you want to take a look at that and see if that will be a better fit to your, your gameplay, then go ahead, click watch this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please leave a like on this video, subscribe for more Elden Ring videos and other games, and let's get into it. This method here uses the Rivers of Blood katana. This katana, you get it right before reaching this spot, or reaching the fire giant. There's a, a church and a side of grace behind us, and there's an NPC that invades us, and once you defeat this NPC, you actually earn the Rivers of Blood katana. So our strategy is pretty much using the Rivers of Blood katana, Mine is fully upgraded and Black Knife Teach as a summon, as you can see right here. Also, the Black Knife Teach is fully upgraded for me. So, mind you that this gameplay was actually captured on NG plus 5. So, the Fire Giant will actually have a lot more life than probably for you guys, but the strategy is still the same. So, once you're here, you want to hop on your horse and run towards the Fire Giant and you want to focus on his left foot. His left foot is the weak point in the first stage of the fight. So you want to keep attacking that. If he runs away like he's doing right now, jump immediately on your horse and try to get as close to him as fast as you can because this way he cannot attack you. And then you keep attacking his foot and if he tries to attack or do one of these moves, you just want to dodge right before he does the attack so you don't take any damage. So just keep attacking him the Black Knife Tish is actually really good against the Fire Giant because he keeps jumping around so he avoids a lot of attacks and he's able to last for a long time. As you can see here, we just got to this second stage. Once you get to the second stage, you don't have to jump on your horse. Be careful, he's gonna put his hands down and you wanna focus on his left hand, this one right here. Look how much life I take away from him just in his few attacks. Together with the Black Knife Tish that has his attack that does blood loss so you can see here he's almost dead he's gonna recuperate some of his life right now during this attack but he was pretty much dead and once he gets far away you want to hop on your horse again you can either go straight to him and try to finish him right there or you can stand away a little bit wait for this attack to finish and then go underneath him and keep cutting him you want to use the special attack on the rivers of blood katana that is the last trigger on the Xbox or PlayStation so the equivalent of the L2 so you want to use that attack which deals a lot of damage and it does some blood loss accumulation so once he was low on, on life he recuperated a little bit and now we're actually gonna finish him and that's it so the fight wasn't that hard it took me like three times on NG plus five it wasn't too hard but you have to be mindful of these things, the attack, how to move around him and when to attack. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one.